Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. Now, I know we talked about doing starting out with some processes to begin to sort of chip away or erode the blocks that keep us from that uh, miracle mindset or that miracle energy frequency, would now be a good time to maybe throw in the first one? <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, we have some uh, uh, healing that we're going to come back to later, but before that, I really wanted to uh, mention some processes that can really help allow the mind and the heart to unite, to become one. Um, a lot of times we think it has to be one or the other, but really, you know, when we unite them, it becomes uh, much more beneficial and productive in our lives. So the way to do that um, is to understand once again that the heart is the way that our spirit, mm -hmm. that our all-knowing divine aspect of us communicates through us to us. So many call it, again, the intuition, um, and when the mind feels safe allowing the heart to guide it, then it opens itself up to the higher insights, ideas, aha moments, revelations, which many of us have had. I know, you know, when you hear something that you resonate with or sometimes you're just meditating or you're taking a walk and you get this download, you're like, whoa, where did that come from? That's sort right, of right. outside of my realm of thinking, usual, usual realm of thinking. So that's what that is. That's the, that's the mind trusting the heart. Um, and that's a confirmation of that. And we've, most of us have experienced that, and we will continue to experience that more and more as the energies of the earth, the collective, rises, because that's what's happening right now. So um, the, basically, um, the first process to do that, the technique that I want to share, is really powerful. I just want to invite everyone to close their eyes and just get really comfortable and center on their breath and focus on their breath. Take a nice deep breath in. And just breathing in that life force energy all around you, feeling supported, feeling loved. And just breathe out any thoughts and cares and concerns of the day. Just let them go. Let the universe unburden you of all of them. Good. Take another deep breath in and just getting even more present, more relaxed. And release. Good, and let's do one more. Take a deep breath in. And release. All right, so the first thing that I want you to do is sort of visualize yourself because the power of visualization is really important and it's such a gift that we've been blessed with. Um, so I want you to visualize yourself somewhere like in an environment that just makes you feel so good. For me, I love tropical um, environments, whether it's on a beach with a blue aqua uh, ocean behind me and, and the palm tree. For some, it's a beautiful mountain setting. Some, it's just, uh, you know, their home. So just see yourself wherever you feel the safest, the most comfortable, the most at ease, someplace that makes your heart sing. And just get that into your mind right now. Good. Once you have that visual, now I want you to see off in the distance, I want you to see a group of little kids about one and a half, two years old, just playing, running along, just having fun and you just hear laughter and joy and all that good stuff. And then I want you to sort of notice one of those kids off in the distance looks really, really familiar to you. And go ahead and bring your awareness to that child and see that child look back at you. 
and notice you. So it's that instant divine recognition. And so this child sort of, you know, moves out of that little fun environment that all the kids are playing and starts walking towards your direction. And as they get closer and closer, you start to notice that this child is you. This child is that two-year-old aspect of you. Sort of shy, not really sure if you recognize him or her, but they definitely sense that recognition, that instant recognition. So what we're going to do is we are going to notice that this child is embodying that inner child, the, the ego, the mind, whatever you want to call it, that's what that part of us represents. It's the part of us that simply wants to experience this beautiful realm, the, the five senses, uh, seeing, feeling, uh, touching, tasting, all these things that we get to experience only in this realm. Um, this is the aspect that this child represents. Now, I want you to see on the other side of on to your left or right, whichever opposite side that you just were looking at, I want you to see a group of adults having fun, laughing, talking, mingling, whatever that may be, dancing. And then I want you to notice that you actually see someone who looks really familiar. Oh my gosh, that looks just like me. Okay, and then so they notice you back. And then I want you to go ahead and see that smile on their face. Oh, I know, I see you, I recognize you. And I want you to go ahead and see that adult aspect of you. And I want you to, to recognize that this is the heart aspect of you. This is the wise, compassionate, omni, all-knowing, all-encompassing aspect of yourself the part that has had all these experiences that have brought him or her to the awareness that they have now, things that that inner child may not necessarily have at this time yet, but they will have as they grow. So now what we're going to do is we are actually going to see that adult aspect of yourself, which represents the heart, and that inner child aspect of yourself, which represents the mind, see each other almost like you're watching a movie on screen and you're watching this scene. And for me, I love to see it on the beach. And I see them like walking towards each other. And then I see that adult kneel down to the level of the child and embrace them, giving them the most heartfelt, loving and embracing hug. And just see them embrace each other and see at first that that mind, they may have a little resistance to it because, you know, they're like, oh, I don't want to be hugged because that's what kids do. Sometimes they're like, oh, I don't want this. But then eventually, completely surrendering into the arms of that adult aspect of yourself, letting go of all the stress, the worry, the fear, all that stuff, having to try to keep you safe and protected in those ways, just melting those away. Just feel what it would feel like if that child just completely fell into your arms, feeling safe and protected, feeling the love back and forth, and just witness this vision. And just feel gratitude in your heart for the sacred time that you've co-created right this minute, where you have literally united your mind and your heart, feeling so grateful. And we're letting know, we're letting that inner child know how much more it's going to have and experience and gain now, that nothing is going to be taken away from it because we have allowed it to now be at one with the heart. We're actually giving it so much more because of this process. Feel the gratitude from that inner child and then go ahead and see those aspects of yourself, the adult and that inner child. See them walk off into the sunset. Just see them walk off into the sunset, hand in hand, so loving, so grateful, so much joy. They don't have to fight anymore. It's all about love. 
It's all about unity. That's what miracles mean. That's what will attract more miracles in our lives. When we are no longer hard on that inner child and allow that inner child to be part of us, recognize that it is a part of us, that it, it has never been separate and it never will be. And just see that them off until you can no longer see them anymore because they're so far away. And just get back into your breath. Place your right hand over your heart space, left on top of that if it's available. And just take a deep breath in and release. Good. And since we're in this space already of closing our eyes and just being in this oneness, this stillness, I'd like to go ahead and offer another little process that's really going to help us in being and thinking in that space of miraculous thinking. So go ahead and take a deep breath in and release. So I want you to take a quick inventory as your eyes are closed. Just take a quick inventory in your life where you may still have some rigid ways of thinking, whether it's in work, family, career, abundance, whatever it may be. Just sort of take a quick inventory. You don't have to get too detailed, but whatever comes up for you first. So we're going to use the power, power of imagery again and visualization which is such a gift that we have. And I want you to notice right in front of you, I want you to imagine this basketball-sized balloon floating next to you about at eye level. Now I want you to begin putting some of these things that you thought about, those inventories that you took about the worries, the fears, the stresses that you may have had um, around family, work, career, abundance, um, you know, well-being, health, etc. I want you to start placing those energies. I want you to see them as words or colors or just memories or whatever it is. I want you to place them inside of this balloon. Just removing them from your energy field and literally giving them over, handing them over with your hands, or you can just see them being released from the mind and see them enter that balloon. And as you put them inside of this balloon, the balloon starts to get lighter. You'd think that it would get heavier, but actually, similar to what Darius was talking about um, with the, those big cruises or those ships that float, they're made out of steel um, on the water, it actually floats and it starts to get lighter and lighter. So I want you to go ahead and just place all of those worries, those fears, those threats, just put them all in there. Anything that may have you thinking rigidly, I want you to go ahead and place those in that balloon and start to see the balloon get so light that it starts to lift up higher and higher. And I want you to focus on what that feels like for that balloon to drift up higher and higher and just see it. Keep your eyes on it as it goes even further up into the sky. The more things that you put into it, the higher that it goes until literally you feel like you've ran out of things to put into it, and it literally is so high in the sky that it's this tiny little speck now. And just see that little speck going even higher and higher until you can no longer see it anymore. Let the universe, let that source, life force energy, take it away. You no longer need it anymore. Good. Take a deep breath in, getting back into this present moment. And release. Now I want you to imagine what experiences you will have when you have more of a flexible mind. First of all, you're going to be more flexible physically. Your body's going to heal. What does it look like? What does it taste like, smell like, sound like? to experience flexibility in your life, fluidity, ease, grace, comfort. What does that look like? And just get really clear on those five senses that you would experience in 
that vision that you're seeing. Now ask yourself the question, what step or steps am I willing to take in order to become more aligned with this vision? What step or steps am I willing to take in order to become more aligned with this vision? Just ask yourself. And you may not receive the guidance right now, but we've already set, in, set it into motion. So whenever it's going to show up for you, it will. But just really marinate on that idea, that question. What step or steps am I willing to take in order to become more aligned with this vision that I've just seen of being more flexible, of being more aligned? Would it be to um, maybe uh, align with people that uh, lift you up in your career? Is it to um, believe more in yourself? Is it to be more kind to others? Is it to um, uh, be open to receiving more from others? Whatever it is, just being open and more flexible. What does that look like and what steps can you take to get to that space? And whatever that is, it's sacred to you. And when you receive that guidance, you can either write it down later or you can just sort of revisit this when the recording, uh, the replay is being played and write it down then. Go ahead and take a deep breath in, just getting back into your breath. And release, feeling that gratitude, that joy right now that you've let go of all those rigid ways of thinking. And if they do come up ever again, you can go ahead and just See that balloon again in front of you, another one completely empty. Just put all these different energies that you're ready to release into that balloon and just see it drifting up higher and higher and let the universe take it away from you so that you no longer need to hold on to that. So you open yourself up to all these other things that are going to be more life-enhancing, more miraculous in your experience. So go ahead and take a deep breath in. Good. Release, gently opening your eyes, getting back into the moment. Just wiggle your hands and toes and just really getting back into the now, making this, anchored, anchoring this into the present moment. Good. And let's just do one more deep breath in and relax. And release. And so it is. Hello and welcome, this is Darius Barzande, host of the Wealth Revolution, and if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now, daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join, and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, Click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.